Hi everybody, I'm going to do a video and this may or may not be in place of my weekly makeup basket. And the reason why is I'm not sure if you um, have been watching me for very long, but I will be um, going home, which is New York. I'm currently in uh, Toronto, Ontario. And I will be going home to help um, assist my parents in packing up their New York uh, home. They are moving permanently to Florida and uh, have requested that I come and help. And since I'm really not doing anything, I thought, why not, right? So what I'm going to talk about are things that I'm taking with me to New York. Um, and I may, like I said, I may or may not film a debrief video, um, but I want to get these videos out early so I can just post them and uh, continue on and you'll have to hold because now my dog's uh, whining because he dropped his toy that I bought him. Yes, it's my fault for giving it to him on the couch. Okay, that, uh, yeah, <laughs> so hopefully I've solved that problem. So I'm just gonna go through what I'm um, taking with me in no particular order. So something new, um, Skin Cosmetics Instafil Lip and Laugh Line Filler Cream with Dermaxil. This is from Skin Cosmetics. Now, I like Skin Cosmetics. I like them as a brand. The only thing, the only hang up I have about Skin Cosmetics is that the person who created them, uh, Dimitri James, this is sold on the shopping channel and I'm sure it's sold on QVC as well. The problem I have with Dimitri, great guy, and he does make a nice line, is I feel that he pushes his products um, and basically claims, and maybe I'm completely off base here, but claims that the way he looks is because he uses his products. And that is not true. The man has had some pretty obvious uh, plastic surgery or some kind of lift somewhere. And that's fine, I don't have a problem with that. I've always said that I don't have a problem with anybody that's had plastic surgery. If I had the funds for plastic surgery, I'd probably get some plastic surgery. But the issue I have is when you have a cosmetics line and you're telling people via television, which goes out to millions of people, that you look a certain way because you only use your products. But regardless, I do, I've do. i had some very good luck with Skin Cosmetics, so I'm going to give this a shot and see if it can help my, my lips. So I find that I have really a lot of lines in my lips, and I thought, geez, you know, I use sun uh, protection on my lips too, I don't know. Something that I'm taking with me, but may actually go to my sister, um, is the Annabelle CC Cream in Natural Finish. I do really like this. I do already have a backup, so she may be getting this. Um, I may use it as a primer, but I've got my Dior um, Multi-Perfection UV Base Sunscreen. And I feel like this is what I'm going to end up using, and she's going to get this. The reason I'm giving this to her is she's kind of more, she doesn't want anything too complicated. You know, something simple that she can just do, and this is nice. Gives a decent amount of coverage with exactly that, a natural finish. So I think she will appreciate that. For foundation, I put the Healthy Mix Serum by Bourjois in my bag. I might not actually take this. I might take my uh, Christian Dior. Still unsure, but for right now, we're going to go with this. Um, then for, I'm I cannot not take this because I love this. The Dr. Jart Black Label Detox BB Balm or BB Cream, Beauty Balm Cream. This was a gift um, from Stacy Sunnyside Makeup and I've been using this all week. I was in my um, makeup basket this past week and I really, 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 really like it. Plus, I also want to take it along so that when I go to Sephora, notice it wasn't an if, it was a when. Um, if they have it, I'll be able to identify it and say this is the one I want. For bronzer, I'm gonna use the Victoria's Secret Sun Goddess uh, Baked Mineral Bronzing Powder. This is an awesome product. And there's, you know, Victoria's Secret, don't um, totally write them off in terms of cosmetics. Yeah, they have a lot of stuff that's like glitter, shimmer, but they have some true gems. And I found some um, palettes, eyeshadow palettes, and now this bronzing powder that's a real hit for me. 
I'm taking the NARS uh, Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is the new one of the new concealers I was talking about. I really should do a debrief video because I was using another new concealer that I had uh, purchased, the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. So I probably will end up doing a debrief video because I would like to tell you how I did with that. Then for blush, I'm taking the Stila All You Need Is Love Cheek Palette. This is giving me nice options in one small compact rather than just one color. For contouring powder, although I'm not sure how often I, I'll use this, I'm going to take Harmony, but I actually think I'm going to go to MAC and see if they can um, suggest something different um, for contour. So this is a little bit warmer than the uh, Notorious, the Chanel Notorious, but also it's more brown than the Chanel Notorious, but we'll see what they say. I'd like, I always like to see what they say. Uh, for eyeshadow, I'm actually taking something, I don't even know if I told, told you all I bought this. I'm taking the Archie Girls Caramel Sunday Eyeshadow Quad. Um, this is from the collect, that collection, and here it is. Um, pretty neutral, pretty basic, but I have a feeling, if I know myself, I'm gonna be buying quite a bit in the US, and I'm probably gonna be opening it, trying it, so I didn't want to bring too much stuff. So, and then just in case uh, to transition from Caramel Sunday, because those are pretty much all shimmer shadows, I'm going to bring my um, Naked Basics palette. I've watched enough videos on this palette. Now I know how to use it. Even as, as recently as today, Ms. Kristen321 said, you know, if you have a palette that does not have matte colors in it, then this is a good in addition to that. And that's exactly what I needed to hear. So now I feel like I'm on target. I know what I'm doing with this. Bam. Uh, I'm going along, uh, this will be my third L'Oreal Paris Mascara. This time I'm using the Voluminous Extra Volume Collagen in Black is Black, and it is waterproof. You know how I feel about waterproof mascaras. Um, I'm a huge fan. Especially that I'm, you know, I'm going to be traveling. So if I get hit in the snow belt from Toronto, all and then that snow belt for me, Toronto, all the way to almost Albany, um, this is going to save my lashes and not have me looking scary. So okay. Um, also, something new: the I, uh, excuse me, It Cosmetics Hello Light Cream Illuminator. Just saw this on the shopping channel again. I will often turn on the shopping uh, channel as background when I'm doing something else, especially when they have beauty products on and cosmetic lines, and I always tune in for at least one of the cosmetics shows. So because, um, you know, I thought this was just a scary picture, but this is actually the way you're supposed to use this product. So um, pretty pretty ingenu ingenious. So I'm definitely trying this. I want to try a cream product. I have a lot of uh, powder illuminators. What I noticed, especially when I take my pictures for my mascara, is I can see all these lines that are highlighted um, by the powder. So I'm going to try cream and see if that uh, makes any difference. Then, again, another favorite is my Sun Protect um, SPF 30 BB Powder. This is actually a pressed powder. I still use a brush with it. And I get, well, I'd like to think I get good results. I love the, the color is perfect for me. And I put it in my T-zone, and I'm pretty impressed with the results. So then lip products. Oh, excuse me, liner. I'm bringing my L'Oreal Paris Carbon Black Liner Intense. So I just want to use this up, and I, I'm pretty sure I'm almost done with it, which I'm thrilled about because I almost never finish products, which is really sad to say. I'm bringing my Dior Rouge Serum and Violet Serum. So this is a good, for me, this is good for travel besides my lip balm. Just keeps me, um, a gives me a little bit of color and uh, keeps me hydrated. So, because when you're driving, you get very dehydrated because you can't drink a gallon of water when you're driving because you have to stop like every, at every rest stop. And I really just don't want to do that. I want to get there as soon as I can. Then for lip products, bringing number 45, Who Wore It Redder um, Maybelline Color Whisper, which is very unlike me. Um... I don't really wear too many Maybelline products, but I love these color whispers. And again, hydrating, uh, soft, just a pinch, a little smidgen of color. And then also my uh, Dior Lip Polish. This is in 002. I do have the peach. Um, not ready to break that out yet. I'm going to um, work my way through this. So um, that's it for my 
um, beauty items that I'm taking to New York minus my hair care and um, body care which I'm not going to show you that's just way too much um, I am bringing full-size products because I just don't know when I'm gonna be leaving and I'm driving so I'm also taking a whole boatload of stuff down for my family in terms of makeup and uh, bath and body care so the only other thing I wanted to mention is on my last video when I did my Walmart haul um, I got a comment from someone and I don't know this person I don't know how often they watch my videos I probably should go back and check and she had mentioned that she liked watching or I'm assuming it's a she this person had mentioned that they liked watching my videos but that I was too judgmental about my neighbors and I should let them do what they want so I just want to make this really clear um, I'm not cracking the whip on my neighbors. They are, are probably wonderful people. I don't know them that well. The times that I have talked to them, they're very pleasant. They're a source of entertainment for me. And we, my, my husband and I and our dogs, are a source of entertainment for them. I can't tell you how many times they've seen us, you know, falling in the mud with the dog or making a, like one uh, day my husband locked me out of the house and they were over there laughing and, you know, I'm not doing anything to harm them, um, and you know, I'm just not. It's all in good fun. It was something that I would say to them if I saw, if I had seen them in the back, like if they had come out and, and seen me to the point where they would have waved, I would have said, why are you guys outside? It's, it's sleeting out. I would have said that to them. So um, I'm just gonna, just gonna leave it there. And the other thing I wanna say about that is if, um, if you or anyone is offended by me having my little neighbor neighborly quirk stories, you probably should unsubscribe to my channel. Um, a large portion of what I do and what I talk about are beauty products. Occasionally, I'll go into other um, rants and other subjects, but a lot of the even the talk about beauty products it deals with my opinion. So, if you're not into my opinion, it's one thing to disagree but I don't necessarily know if I would take it to that next level and say that I'm judgmental because. Um, but again, that's just my opinion. And I have my opinion, you have your opinion, and I don't mind you commenting on it, um, but you just have to understand that if it's turning into something that's too difficult for you to watch and you keep commenting and commenting and commenting, the solution for you might be that my channel isn't for you and you should unsubscribe just a thought so that's what I'm taking to New York hopefully I will get a debrief video up um, about my products from last time and um, then you can just go with with these products as, as what I've uh, what I've chosen for the next week so thanks so much for watching like comment subscribe I'll do the same bye